Hello everybody, this is Rahul C. Vijay and you are watching Corporate Wellness. Today on our show, we have with us Srijat. He conducts stress management workshops called Transit. Welcome to the show, Srijat. Thank you, Rahul. So, Srijat, tell me, what is your typical stress management session like? What, what does it comprise of? Uh, when I say transcend, you know, uh, it's it's not it's a workshop, but again, it's not a workshop; it's experience. That's what I like to call it as. Uh, at the beginning of the session, like you know, normally, like I promise or you know, my people, like you know, whatever is their state of mind at that particular time, uh, it will be changed after two hours. Okay, so I'll take them through you know a lot of experiences. All okay, right. and uh, you know we do. So at the end of the session, do they come back to you and say that yes, my state of mind have changed? They don't have to come back. You no, know, I can see in their eyes. You no, know, they'll be like more light, more happy, more cheerful. All right. Uh, that is objective. You no, know? like uh, in the beginning of the session, like say you no, know, I don't have anything else. But you know, at the end of the session, I just want to see a warm smile from their heart. You know, that's right. that's the object of this so workshop. So uh, tell me, what inspired you to take this session up? Uh, I'm like uh, from. From my early days, I used to read a lot of uh, you know, spiritual and self-help books and I used to attend a lot of workshops and seminars on uh, stress management or you know, self-development of those, those kinds. Uh, so, you know, uh, like in my previous company, uh, as an experiment, I thought, okay, why don't, why don't I share all these things with my people? And that's when it all started. And the response was too good. Uh, you know, people again, uh, you know, started coming back and, and ask, ask for more. And that's when uh, I started doing it. And here, and you know, I'm doing it every month. So, uh, how many sessions have you done, and where all have you done these sessions? Uh, right now, uh, in Bangalore and Mysore. Uh, Mysore, like uh, I used to do three sessions every month uh, for all these new people. And uh, here, like uh, in Bangalore, at least two sessions in a month. All right. So. Uh, what is the typical audience in a session? How many people come? Uh, it ranges from minimum 30 people to even my suit 200 to 250 people like all this new joinees We have this big auditoriums there. So, you know uh, Minimum like 30 35 people will be there. All right. So tell me something about stress management What according to you comprises of stress management uh, This session uh, stress, uh, you know, you know this industry uh, the, the, the our work culture as it is like people are stressed out uh, due to various reasons so it it's just a philosophy of you know you can just change those you know reactions just by your thoughts by doing certain exercises by you know certain strategies so that's what i used to cover in this workshop so basically and you mean to say that the exercises will change the state of mind absolutely all right so uh, tell me what what inspires people in your workshops you might have got a lot of feedback from people on what they like about your workshop. Mm -hmm. So, can you share some of the experiences which they have shared with you after they attended your workshop? Uh, you know, a uh, lot of things uh, trigger our uh, you know, reaction. Uh, say, for example, like uh, your breath pattern. Uh, you know, when your emotion changes, your breath patterns changes. Uh, or your physiology, you know. Uh, if you see a depressed person, his body language will be like his shoulders will be down. He'll have a dull expression and his tone will be different. So when you say cheerful person, his body language will be like, you know, a very open body language and, you know, have a cheerful expression. So just by changing your physiology or just change by changing your breath pattern, you can change the state of mind of a person. So that's what exactly I'm doing in the session by I'll make them dance, I'll make them jump, I'll make them, you know, uh, I'll just change their physiology, you know, the, from the way they sit to the, the way they uh, listen to me, I'll play music. So, you know, we just change the entire, uh, you know, the kind of ambience in the room and thereby they'll get a different feeling. It's very as simple as it is. All right, let us watch some clips from Srijit's Transcend session now. So what you watched just now was the Transcend session hosted by Srijit. Yeah. So Srijit, tell me what are the best compliments you have got about your session? Uh, I used to give my uh, email ID after my session and after each session I used to get like some 10-15 mails from my you know, participants telling that it was a wonderful experience. You know, they cried during the session and uh, you know, thanks for making that change. And uh, people, uh, you know, when they start practicing all these things, uh, when they see change in themselves, again they used to come, whenever in the campus itself, whenever they you know, meet me in person, uh, and they'll come and know that you know that thank the, when they thank me and you know that uh, what do you say that that love that gratitude in their eyes uh, that's a great compliment I used to get. So Sri, tell me what are the basic steps a person need to follow mm. if he has to eliminate stress from his or her life? Okay. Now uh, we take bath every day to clean our body, but you know we are not doing anything to clean our mind, and the main culprit is our mind. Uh, you know, the root cause for all our problems, you know, the reason for depression or whatever stress you have, 
the main reason uh, is your thoughts. It all starts from your thoughts. So the first, le for the first thing is to control your thoughts. And to control your thoughts, you have to control your mind. And a lot of uh, things trigger that from the, it can, even from the food you eat, and you know whatever you know st stimuli response you're getting from the outside world so all these things will you know create stress so it's very important that every day you should spend at least up you know 10 to 30 minutes for your self development uh, it you know you can do meditation pranayama and breathing exercises stretching exercises uh, it's very important that you spend some time for your self development and you know once it's like our scripture says when the student is ready the master will come it's like that when you start doing it you know you will get the resources to develop yourself and uh, that's how it grows all right at this juncture i want to ask you a simple question mm -hmm. what do you feel is the major factor lacking in the bpo industry or mm -hmm. probably among our employees mm -hmm. which probably doesn't make them happy mm -hmm. what is one thing which is lacking mm -hmm. with them uh, here in our industry, lack of discipline, uh, they have different timings, they're not having food on time, and they have a lot of expectations, you know, uh, when the expectations don't match, then that will trigger stress. They have expectation from, you know, their friends, colleagues, they have expectation from everyone. So it's very important that, you know, it, it all starts from your mindset. Uh, you should have the right attitude, and uh, you should take life as it comes, and you should live in the present moment. So once that discipline comes, I think everything will be all right. All right. So, what what's your plan for future transcend sessions? Do you plan to incorporate something in your session, or how do you envision your sessions going in future? Yeah, my session uh, after ACE, we used to give feedback forms after sessions. Like based on the feedback, I've improvised a lot in during in my in my sessions, and uh, uh, I I I like no, I would like to cover maximum people. Uh, that will be objective, and uh, most often, like because of a shift timing and other thing, people are not really uh, even though they are interested you know they don't have enough time to come so you know uh, my objective will be to cover more people all right we have uh, international audience watching this show so do you have something which probably focuses on stress management for you know all our employees abro abroad and mm -hmm. across locations like bangkok manila czech poland mm -hmm. mexico everywhere mm -hmm. uh, we we are we can we start a program which probably encompasses all these employees and mm -hmm. which reduces the stress level of Infosys BPO mm -hmm. as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do it, but uh, again, like stress is like, uh, it's not, uh, you know, particular to India or, you know, in a particular place or city, but uh, if you can, uh, you know, uh, focus more people through medias like Infi TV and, you know, we can cover more audience uh, through different sessions, online sessions. All right. So, on that note, let me end the show by asking Srijit one last question. So, on your personal stress levels, where are you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe like uh, t after teaching and after you know doing a lot of sessions, uh, you know, it's very important me to be at least when I'm in the campus to have that you know cheerful smile. You know, otherwise uh, you know uh, people because it's not easy to be uh, hundred percent stress free or it's not easy to be. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of effort from your side uh, to be happy or, you know, to be stress-free. So, I am like, uh, you know, as a person, I do that, you know, I make that effort to be happy or to be, you know, stress-free. And, uh, you know, that's what keeps me going. All right. So, we hope that you are stress-free your whole life. And we hope all the Infosys BPO employees a stress-free life ahead. On this note, we end the show. That is all for Corporate Wellness for today.